What you guys got another video here for you on how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free in 2019. Now this is December the 3rd 2019 and you can still roll out an upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Now you can also do a fresh install with Windows 10 and use your Windows uh, 7 product key and this should still activate your Windows 10 uh, installation. So remember, Windows 7 uh, support ends on January the 14th, 2020. So if you're a home user and you're still using Windows 7 and you want to get an update for free to Windows 10, then you can do it by using this method that I will show you in this video. Now, if you're doing the upgrade process of from Windows 7 to Windows 10, it's always best to back up your data first, just in case something goes wrong during the upgrade process. If you're doing a fresh install and using your Windows 7 product key to activate Windows 10, this also works. And again, you will still need to back up your data before you do that. So it's always best to get a backup of your data just to make sure everything is okay. You will need to download the Windows 10 media creation tool if you're doing a fresh install of Windows 10 and you can get it from the Microsoft website. I'll leave the link in the video description. There is nothing illegal about doing this. This is a total legal way of upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10, whether you do the fresh install of Windows 10 and then using your Windows 7 activation uh, key, or you can uh, do the upgrade process, which I'm doing in here because the person wants to keep all their data. So I'm going to download the Windows 10 media creation tool and use the upgrade process in there. Now, once I've got this activated, I can do a fresh install at a later date if I want to, but basically uh, I'm just going to be doing the upgrade process because I'm in the middle of doing a bunch of different videos with this particular laptop. So I've got the media creation tool downloaded and I've now uh, started it up inside the computer which I want to upgrade on. You can see here it says upgrade this PC now. Now if you're going to do a fresh install you would create your Windows Media USB flash drive by clicking on the radio button below that and go ahead and do a fresh install. But I'm going to be doing the upgrade process. It will start to create the Windows 10 Media for me. Now the upgrade process is a lot slower and basically what's going to happen is it will roll out an upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and automatically update. The other way is to install a fresh version of Windows 10 and use your Windows 7 uh, key to activate Windows 10, which works perfectly fine as well, which is a faster and better, much more preferred uh, solution and less can go wrong that way. So it's going to get a final few more updates ready and then it's going to make sure it's ready to install uh, your version of Windows 10. So we'll let that go about doing its thing and then we'll choose what we want to do on our install. You can see it's ready to install Windows 10 now and it's asked this, we're going to install Windows 10 Home, keep your personal files and apps or you can change this option. So we're going to change this option and go into change what to keep. Now inside here you will be able to do a change option to keep your uh, data and remove everything else or keep nothing and wipe it and install Windows 10. Uh, so you can do it this way as well without installing Windows 10 via USB flash drive. You can do it this way as well by keeping your personal files only. We can keep nothing and do a fresh install via this method as well. So I'm going to keep uh, the actual data, which is all the data on this laptop and all the programs will be removed and uh, it will just keep the data. Now I've also got a backup of the data, which is always advisable. It's going to get a few more updates and uh, it will go through the process of rolling out this upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So let's go ahead and let this continue. Now, of course, once you've uh, rolled out this update and the key is activated on the Windows 10 machine, you can then do as many fresh installs of Windows 10 as you like, and it will always be activated when you've finished the fresh install. It's just going to get a few things uh, finished off here. You can change some privacy settings for your device. I'd advise you to turn all this stuff off and then follow some of my privacy uh, videos that I've done on Windows 10 to turn some of those features off. I've got a bunch of them up there which you can follow and it shows you how to uh, deal with all the privacy concerns on Windows 10. So I'm just going to disable all these ones and there we are, Windows 10 desktop. 
I've speeded that process up for you. I'm just going to click on the system information and just show you that it does activate Windows 10. You can see a product ID not available at the moment, but that's because it's just getting the network uh, ready uh, for the connection on the internet. You can see it's still the same laptop, and there you go, Windows 10 is activated. And that's basically it. That's basically all you need to do to get upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. Remember, the deadline is running out, and I'm not sure if this will work after that deadline. It could all stop, and you may have to then go and buy Windows 10. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out once that deadline is finished. So it's best to do it now while you can still do it, rather than pay uh, for a license key. Now again, this process was done on December the 2nd, 2019. And again, I'm not sure how long this process will be able to do this. Maybe once the end of the life cycle of Windows 7 comes on January 22nd, maybe this won't work anymore and you will have to buy a key. I don't know, only time will tell. But other than that, I've got some other videos coming up real soon, some other upgrade videos for this laptop and a PC build video and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any of the latest videos when I release them. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video today. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful to you. If it is, then give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.